quickly before we get started tonight. Uh, that, as you know, this is an entrance here, but you may not know that there is an exit through here. Those of you over there can see the fire exit sign. Uh, so if there were to be any type of an emergency, of course, you could go right through there. There's, there's doors right out behind those doors, so nothing to fear there. We do use a fog machine, so don't, don't let that distress you. It is intended to happen. And that's about it. And thank you for coming, and uh, here we go. and I had him for barely three years. And then your brother? Oh, how is it right that a small thing like a knife or a pistol can finish off a man? A fool of a man. The months pass and the hope is of it stings to my eyes and to the roots of my veins. Let's quit this talk. No, no, let's not quit this talk. Can anybody bring me your father back or your brother? Then there's the jail. What do they mean, the jail? They smoke there, play music there, drink there. My dead men, silent, turning to dust. While the killers are in jail, carefree, looking at the mountains. You want me to go kill them? No. No. It's just... How can I help with talking? Seeing you go out that door, I just wish you wouldn't carry a knife. And then, I wish you wouldn't go out to the Arroyo. Oh, come now. I'd like it if you were a woman. Then the two of us could embroider and make fun of little woolly dogs all day long. Oh, mother. What if I should take you with me to the vineyard? What will the little old lady do out in the vineyard? You going to put me down on your young vine? Oh, old lady, old lady, you little, little old lady. He used to take me. That's the way of men with good blood. Good stuff. Your grandfather put a son on every single corner. That's what I like. Men, men, wheat, wheat. And I love you. What? Well, do I need to tell you again? Well, do you think it's bad? No. Well, then? Well, the whole thing surprised me. I know your girl is good, isn't she? Needs her bread, sews her skirts, hardworking. But even so, I say her name and I feel as though something has hit me on the head of the rock. Oh, foolishness. Foolishness? More than foolishness. I'd be left alone in my house. But you'll come with us. No. I can't leave your father and brother here alone. I have to go to them every morning. And it is possible that if I go away, one of the Felix members, one of the killers might die and they bury them right alongside ours. And that'll never happen. Oh no, that'll never happen. Because if it did, I would dig them out with my bare hands and I would crush their skulls against the wall all by myself. There you go again. Forgive me. How long have you known her? Three years. I've been able to buy the vineyard. 
three years. The girl used to have another sweetheart, didn't she? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, girls have to look at what they'll marry. Yes, I looked at no one. I looked at your father, and when they killed him, I looked straight at the wall in front of me. One woman with one man, and that's all. But you know my girl is good. I don't doubt it. All the same, I'm sorry to have not known what her mother was like. What difference does it make now? Sunday seem alright to you? Yes, and I'll bring her the bronze ribbons. They're very old, and you'll buy her. You know more about that. You'll buy her some open work stuff. And for you, two suits. Three. I have no one but you. I'm going. Tomorrow I'll go see you. Yes, and see if you can make me have a sixth branch, or as many as you want. The first one for you. Yes, and have some girls. I want to embroider and make lace and be at I'm sure you'll love my wife. Go on. You're too old for this now. Give them to your wife. When she is your wife. I'm going. Yes, I got lad over there by the little mill. Make sure you work it over because you haven't been taking good care of it. You're right. I will. How do you? Just as you see me? I came down to the store today and decided to stop in to see you. We live so far away. It's been 20 years since I've been up to the top of that street. Well, you're looking well. You think so? Things happened. Two days ago, one of my neighbor's sons had both arms cut off by the machine. You brought my head? Yes. And there you have him. Many a times I've thought that your son and mine are better off where they are, sleeping and resting. Not running the risk of being left helpless. No oh, hush. There's just something all thought of, but no consolation. I. I. Well, where is your son? He went out. He finally bought the vineyard. He was lucky. And now he'll get married. Listen. Listen. Yes, what is it? You know my son. A good girl. Yes, but but he knows her very well. There's nobody. She lives up there alone, fifteen miles from the nearest house. But she's a good girl. She's used to being alone. And your mother? Her mother, I did know. She was beautiful. Her face glowed like a saint's, but I never liked her. She didn't love her own husband. Well, lots of things certain people know. I'm sorry, but you asked me. Now, whether she was decent or not, no one said because that wasn't discussed. She was hot. There you go again. You asked me. I wish no one knew anything about them. Either the live one or the dead one. But they were like two thistles that no one even named. Cut off right at the right moment. Well, you're right. Your son is worth a lot. Yes, a lot. And that is why I have to look after him. They told me the girl had a sweetheart some time ago. Yes, she was about 15, as a matter of fact. The boy's been married for two years now. To a cousin of hers, actually. But <laughs> no one remembers about their engagement. How do you remember it? What question is that you ask? You'd like to know all about the things that hurt us. Who is the boy? Leonardo. Leonardo. What Leonardo? Leonardo Felix. Felix? But how could Leonardo be a Leonardo be to blame for any of those things that happened? He was eight years old. Felix, blame nothing. Makes me want to spit. Spit so I will kill. Control yourself. What good is this going to do you? No good. No good. But you see how it is. Don't get in the way of your son's happiness. You are old, and so am I. It's time for you and me to keep quiet. I'll say nothing to him. Nothing. I'm going. My men will soon be coming in from their fields. Such things. Have you ever known? 
known such a high assignment. The children that are carrying the water to the reapers are black women. Goodbye, woman. Goodbye. Mother did. 
she with the baby? Yes. Do you want something to drink? Yes, some good cold water. And then you didn't come to eat. I was with the wheat buyers. They always hold me up. Did they give you a fair price? Fair. I need a new dress. And the baby a bonnet with ribbons. I'm going to go see him. Be careful, he's asleep. been racing the horse that way. Down their worn out eyes popping from their sockets like they come from the ends of the earth. I have. Oh, excuse me, your horse. He was at the wheat fire. He can burst for all of me. Your drink, is it cold? Yes. Did you hear they're going to ask for my cousin? When? Tomorrow. The wedding will be within the month. Oh, I hope we're invited. I don't know. His mother, I think, wasn't very happy about the match. Well, maybe she's right. She's a girl to be careful with. I don't like you thinking bad things about a good girl. Well, if he does, it's because he knows her. Didn't he know he courted her for three years? But I left her. Are you going to cry now? Stop that! Was it a long trip? 
four hours. You must have come the longest way. I'm too old to come along with this by the river. She gets dizzy. A good hemp harvest, a really good one. When I was young, this land didn't even grow hemp. We got to punish it, even weep over it to make it give us anything useful. Yes, but now it does, don't complain. We didn't come here to ask for anything. You're richer than I. Your vineyards are worth a fortune. Each young vine is silver coin. But do you know, what bothers me is that our lives are separated. I like to have everything together. One thorn I have in my heart, and that's that orchard there, stuck in between my fields. And they won't sell it to me for all the gold in the world. That's the way it always is. If we could just take 20 teams of oxen, and move your fields over here, and put them down that hillside, how happy I'd be. But why? Well, what's yours is his, and what's hers is mine, that's why. Just to see it all together. How beautiful it is to bring things together. And it would be less work. Well, when I die, you can sell ours and buy right here, right alongside. So, so buy, buy my friends, buy everything. Our finance sons, I'd have bought all this mountainside, right to the palm of the stream. It's not good land, but strong arms can make it good. And since no people pass by, they don't steal your fruit, and you can sleep in peace. <clears throat> you know what we're here for. Yes. And? Seems alright to me. They've talked it over. My son is handsome. He has money. He knows how to manage it. My daughter, too. My son has never known a woman. His good days put out thinner than a sheet in the sun. No need to tell about my daughter. At three, when the morning star shines, she prepares the bread. She never speaks, soft as wool. She embroiders all kinds of fancy work, and she can cut a strong cord with her teeth. God bless her house. May God bless it. What would you like for the wedding? A mixed sort of thing. The day when she'll be exactly 22 years old. 22. My oldest son would have been 22. Warm and manly as he was, he'd still be alive if men hadn't invented knives. One mustn't think about that. Every minute. Always a hand on your breast. Thursday, then, is that right? That's right. You and I, the bridal couple, go in a carriage to the church, which is very far from here. The wedding party on carts and horses they'll bring with them. Agreed. Tell her she may come in now. Tell me much please if you like her.
come tomorrow. What time? Five. I'll be waiting for you. When I leave your side, I feel a great emptiness and something like a knot in my throat. When you're my husband, you won't have it anymore.
lots of trees, a fertile country. She was so happy. She wasted away here. Fate, because we're all wasting away here. The very walls give up heat. Annie, don't pull so hard. I'm only trying to fix this way better so it'll shine across your head. Ay, how beautiful you are. You ride on combing. Oh, lucky you. Going to hold a man and kiss him and feel his weight. Hush. And the best part will be when you wake up and can feel him at your side. And when you can rest your shoulders with his breath like a little nightingale's bell. Will you be quiet? Child, what is a wedding? It is just that and nothing more. Is it the sweets or the bouquet of flowers? No, it is a shining bed and a man and a woman. But you shouldn't talk about it. That's something else again, but fun enough too. But bitter enough. I'm going to do the orange blossoms from here to here so that the wreath will shine out on top. Let me
Brad's going to wear a big wreath, isn't she? But it ought not to be so large. One a little smaller would look better on her. Has the groom already brought the orange blossom that must be worn on her breast? He brought it. Don't come out like that! What does it matter? Why do you ask if he brought the orange blossoms? Do you have something on your mind? Nothing. What would I have in mind? You, you know me. You know I don't. Tell me so. What have I ever meant to you? Open your memory, refresh it. But two oxen and an ugly little hut are almost nothing. That's the thought. What have you come here to do? To see your wedding. Just as I saw yours. Tied up by you. Done with your two hands. Oh, they can kill me, but they can't spit on me. But even money would shine so much spit sometimes. Fire. I don't want to talk. I'm hot-blooded, and I don't want to shout so all these hills will hear me. My shouts would be louder. You'll have to stop talking like this. You don't have to talk about what's past. That's right. You shouldn't even talk to me. But it offends me to the soul that you come here to watch me, to spy on my way, and ask about the orange blossoms with something on your mind. Go and wait for your wife at the door. Can't we even talk? No! No, you can't talk! Ever since I got married, I've been thinking night and day about whose fault it was. And every time I think about it, a new fault comes out to eat the old one up, but there's always a fault left. A man with a horse knows a lot of things. And can do a lot to ride roughshod on a girl stuck out in the desert. I have my pride. That's why I'm getting married. I'll shut myself in with my husband, and I'll have to love him above everyone else. Pride won't help you then. Don't come near me. To burn with desire and do nothing about is the greatest punishment we can bring on ourselves. What good does pride me not seeing you? No good. It only served to bring the fire down on me. You think that time heals and walls hide things. Well, it isn't true. It isn't true. When someone gets that deep inside you, there isn't anyone who can do anything about it. I can't listen to you. I can't listen to your voice. It's as though I've drunk a bottle of anise and fallen asleep, wrapped in a quilt of roses. And I know that I'm drowning, but I go on down. You'll have to go. Don't worry. I won't ever speak to her again. I know that I'm crazy, and I know that my breast rots with longing. But here I am, just calm by hearing him, by just seeing him move his arms. I wouldn't be at peace with myself if I hadn't told you these things. I got married, now you get married. And she is getting married.
Jesus the way the girls die. Tracy would die if the cake fall die. <laughs> So 
I left my house like that too. You could have set the whole countryside in my mouth. Is that trusting? Let's go. Yes. As you set out from your home and to the church you go, remember you be shining with the stars Every minute, there's a shriek standing tiptoe, 
I had to beat it down and hold it under my shawl. Then it never carried off. And one has to keep still. <coughs> and then people find fault. Today is not the day for you to be remembering these things. Well, the talk turns out that I have to speak. Even more so today, because today I'll be left alone in my house. But with the expectation of having someone with you. That's my hope. Grandchildren. I want them to have a lot of them. This land needs hands that are tired. There's a battle to be waged among the weeds, the thistles, the big rocks that come from wonders of nowhere. And those hands have to be the owners. It chastises and dominates. It makes the seeds grow. Lots of sons are needed. And some daughters. Men are like the wind. They're forced to handle weapons. Girls never go out to the street. I think they'll have both. My son is strong. He's a good seed. His father could have had many sons with me. What I'd like to is to have all this happen in a day. So that right away there'll be two or three boys. <coughs> yes. But it's not my fault. These things, they take time. That's why it is so terrible to see one golden blood spilled out in the middle of the street. A fountain that spurts for a minute but costs us years. When I got to my son, he lay fallen in the middle of the road. And I bent down and I soaked my hands in his blood. And I licked them with my tongue. Because it was my blood. You don't know what that's like. In a glass and topaz tried, I keep the earth moistened by his blood. Now you must hope. My daughter is wide hit and your son is strong. <coughs> that's why I'm hoping. Get the weed trays ready. <laughs> They're ready. Maybe. Going to be a celebration, a small one. People can't stay long. Here they come!
Size sheep and children grow up better. We don't have any money. And at the rate we're going. But your husband is a good worker. Yes, but he likes to fly around from one thing to another. He's not a patient. Aren't you two having anything? I'm going to wrap up some wine cakes for your mother. She loves them so much. Put up three dozen for her. Oh no, half a dozen will do for her. Oh, but today's a day. Have you seen Leonardo? Oh, he must be with the guests. I'm going to go see. Frightened of me? It's you. Well, of course it is. Who else would it be? Well, your father or me. It's true. Of course, your father would have more chances. Of course. Because he's old. Let me go. Why? People, they can see us. What of it? It's consecrated now. Oh, I know. But let me be later. What's the matter with you? You look frightened. Here? No. It's just that I can't find him. And his horse isn't in the stable either. 
He must be out racing. Aren't you too proud and happy with so many good blessings? I just wish we were over with. The bride is a little tired. That's no way to be, child. As though I've been struck on the head. The bride from these mountains must be strong. And you're the only one who can cure her. She's yours. That's what I'm doing. No, no I, I'd like to stretch out on my bed a little. Well, I'll keep you coming. <laughs> Never. With all of these people, what would they say? They'd be quiet about it. Don't be like this tonight. I'll be better tonight. That's what I'm
After them. After them.
that will smart over the mountains of my chest. Oh, let me in. Oh, let me in. Oh, rising moon. What about the great leaves? Oh, sorrowful moon. Leave for the love of branch and shadow. Oh, evil moon. Leave for the love of branch and shadow. I want no shadows! My rays must get everywhere! Even among the darkest jokers, I want the wish of glimmering lights! So that this night, there will be sweet blood for my cheeks! And for the reeds that clash at the wide feet of the wind! Who is hiding? And I say! Oh, they will not get away! I will light up the horse with the fever as bright as diamonds! not my arm. It's my brother's arm. And my father's. And of all the dead ones in my family. And it has so much strength that I can pull this tree up by the roots if it wants to. Now let's move on. Because here, I feel the clenched teeth of all my people in me. So that I can't breathe easily. I... Did you hear that? You go that way, then circle back. This is a hunt. A hunt. The greatest hunt there is. What do you want? I'm cold. Where are you going? Over there. Far away. Where are you from? Over there. There. Far away. Have you seen a man and a woman running away on a horse? Tell me, answer me, did you see that? Wait a minute. How would you like to be laid out on your shoulders and not have to walk on the soles of your feet? Which is so slow. I asked you a question. Have you seen that? No! They haven't passed. But they're coming from the hill. Don't you hear them? No. Do you know why? 
I'll go, whatever it's like. I'll go along with you. I know it's Let's go, which way? This way. Don't matter, nor the venom they throw on us. 
them hear us. Both of us. Any way you want. If they separate us, it will be because I'm dead. And I'm dead too. Watching at night. And then the fright stumbled. 
falling on plenty stones. But mountains, blue mountains are letting it pass. Running, 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 and finally to come. To stick in a knife blade to take back the red. Take your hands from your face. 
We have terrible days ahead of us. <laughs> and I want to see no one. The <laughs> earth and I, my grief and I, and these four walls. I, I, take pity on yourself. I must be calm, because the neighbor women will come. <laughs> And I don't want them to see me so poor. So poor as not even one son to hold her lips. Where are you going? I'm coming here. Who is it? Don't you recognize her? That's why I asked who it was. I don't want to recognize her. So I don't sink my teeth into you, dirty snake! Look at her. And she's crying. Well, I stand here calmly and don't tear your eyes out. But where is my son? Where is he? Where is he? For God's sake!